in villages along the banks of Tian River in Venter Province. Initially, there are only a few horses carrying the cargo to small market. But to meet the demand of tourists, the number of carriage has increased to tens of units. Many young men of the village have the chance to perform their talents and earn more money. When the tourism develops, thousands of women on islands of provinces, Kan Tho, Dilong, Yanjiang, Benter have formed a crowded fleet. They not only are happy when having the opportunity to introduce their homeland to tourists, but also earn a significant income to take care of their family. Admiring the people and landscape in Mekong Delta, many tourists have contributed to the development of the community. Particularly, in Nbin Island Ben Long Province, many embankments were built. Two new classrooms were erected, and high schools were equipped with dozens of computers. The tourism really brings community here many practical benefits. Beyond contributing to poverty reduction, the community-based tourism is also the chance to develop the traditional craft villages. The Ga tourism tours of two provinces of Tianjiang, Venter often take tourists to visit the handicraft village with products from the coconut tree. Rich imagination and skillful hands of artisans constantly create new designs to meet the tastes of tourists. In Mekong River cruises from Tianjiang or Long, tourists will have the chance to visit the traditional craft village making candy. In Dong Hoi Heap Commune, Gai Bi District, Yanjiang Province. Tourists will be surprised when knowing how to use rice husks as raw materials, how to use sand to heat up and explode into white calm. They also know how to mix calm with sugar, peanut and coconut in a reasonable proportion to make delicious candies. Launched nearly 100 years through the fierce competition from domestic and foreign goods, making calm profession has been gradually faded. But in recent years, the tourism has helped to restore this traditional craft. The community-based tourism associated with the craft villages has contributed to improving the quality and diversifying the tourism products avoid the boredom for tourists. The community-based tourism contributes to promote the unique cultural features of craft villages handed down through generations to tourists. The Silk Weaving Village of Cham People in Chao Phong Commune, Tan Chao, and Jiang is being invested to develop the community-based tourism. The brocade weaving in Cham village has appeared for a long time with a lot of colors, materials and different patterns. The weaving also contains many traditional secrets of the dyeing technique. The color scheme and forming on the loom. The colorful products of Cham village have become the meaningful gifts for tourists. Currently Chao Phuong commune is completing the gallery of silk products and the wharf to welcome tourists in the Mekong River tours from Kan Tho or Long Zhuayan. Traditional craft villages along the river of Cham people will have more favorable conditions for the development. Coming to Cham village in Njiang, in addition to exploring long-standing traditional crafts, tourists can explore the cultural characteristics of the community here from house costume, language to religion and custom. Interestingly, tourists can go fishing along with Cham men on Har River, or contemplate the solemn mosque. Tourists also have the chance to enjoy the jubilant atmosphere of festivals, with the Baranong drums contributing to adorn the jubilant life, and the solidarity between ethnic groups on this land. There are still many communities with the excellent features in the daily life and the spiritual beliefs of the southern region awaiting the discovery of tourists. 
despite being a new tourism form. The community-based tourism is one of the new directions that contribute to create a tourism product with high human values and bring the highest benefits to the local community. However, the development of community-based tourism requires the high professionalism. How to develop community-based tourism as a complete tourism product is a considerable matter for local authorities. Through many ups and downs, the communities in Mekong Delta still preserve their traditional cultural identities. These cultural identities are the unique, attractive and the most complete tourism products. In the Tet atmosphere, Mekong River Delta was hustling for the National Tourism Festival. Held in Kandho, and along with the bullion tourism activities, the community-based tourism will be invested more worthily with their potential. It is community-based tourism will help the smokeless industry become a key in the development of Mekong Delta.